when we hold up brand names, we're not holding up brand names, we're holding family members' names. Yeah, that's what I saw on the internet. And it's true because I, I, I've known this for years, but I've never, it's only when it's said to you in a certain way, it registers different. So, what's your family name? What's your family name? What's your family name? And most of these brands are younger than me. Most of these brands today are younger than me. Yeah, so now I'm looking at it, I'm like, bro, time's changing. Everyone's caring about Brexit or what's happening with trading and all that stuff. The internet world don't have to care about none of those old school trade laws, blood. We make money off the internet. We make money where you might not even need to ship goods to my country for me to make money. There is no shipping involved in certain money making stuff on the internet. Why is the younger generation so caught up in it? It's an archaic thought process. The future, the future is different, bro. The future is heading to a direction where machinery and apparatus, um, electrical apparatus will be making your income. You understand what I'm saying? The only people that have to worry about what's going on with trading and shipping and all that stuff is the older generation. Those are the ones that are causing all the hoo-ha, bruv. So let's, so let's look at brands. You have a handful of people in the UK that have brands. There's at least 60 brands in the UK that are selling crazy numbers. 60 brands, bro, that are doing crazy numbers. Yeah? And, and they're not all trying to be the same type of brand. They're all different brands. They're all um, built for different people. Some of them want your money. Some of them want the Asian guy's money. Some of them want the Jewish guy's money or the white guy's money. You know what I mean? But all of these brands, look, you've got Trapstar, you've got Benja, you've got um, Lakey. What's the other one that's similar to Benja? Fresh Ego Kid. No, no, because no, 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 I'm getting to mine. I'm getting to mine in a sec. But those brands, yeah, are focused on, I would say, similar to what the designer brands are focused on. They, 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 they were focusing on quality cuts when they first started. Same with um, Trapstar. They might not be doing that now because they're in the numbers. But they were making tailored jackets for footballers and proper quality stuff and all of that. And that's fine, but... and. They want your money. Trap star, they want the hood's money, blood. Most of these guys that are, they want our people in, in our areas to wear quality stuff from their brands. So they want your money. I don't want my people's money, bro. That's why I didn't mention cheats and thieves in there. Because you position it differently. Yeah, I position my brand differently. Yeah, we've got a couple brands where we are. Yeah, and we position, position them differently. I don't want the streets money, bro. I don't want your hard work money, bro. I don't want the drug dealer's money, bro. I don't want none of you lot's money. We know what money we want, bro. You know what I mean? And that's what I'm saying. When you're creating a brand, whether you're from the streets or whether you make hip hop music, whatever you make, you don't need to create brands that are for your people. Your people can wear it because it's cool enough too. Yeah. yeah? And I make boxes to slippers, to duffel bags, to caps, to jackets, to boomers, to... Everything, shirts, vests, tracksuits, wallets. You know what I mean? Swimwear for men. I've done, I've done it all, bro. You know what I mean? But I don't want my people's money. I want people that can, that can afford to buy clothes 10 times over. Tomorrow, if you go buy a Gucci jacket for a thousand pounds, two thousand pounds, you're gonna cherish that jacket for a very long time. But you know what? With internet today, you can't wear it 10 times. You know what I mean? With me, clothing, the, the real clothing market today, the people that rate the mill numbers like Zara and all of these cheap um, outlets, yeah? They're making billions because the clothing game is disposable. Even in the um, designer world, the clothing game is still disposable because as a celebrity, as a normal person, you can't wear last season's gear next year. So the, the clothing, the, the, the designer game is so smart that regardless if, if, if a 20, I can, I can sell a million 20 pound t-shirts per year, yeah? Someone else can sell a hundred, I would say, 
100,000 two grand jackets per year. You know what I mean? Now, we might make the same money, yeah? Similar money, but we've got two different clientels. My clientele can buy 20 of my, 20 of my items. You get me? And he'll still have enough money left for his rent, <laughs> his car note, still take his missus on holiday, still feed his youths, yeah? And for that same one item in a designer, he spend two grand and he can just about feed his youth and take his girl on holiday. You understand what I'm saying with his work money? So, like I say, in, in brands in the UK, what we need to do is, is buy, buy Trapstar, buy Lakey, buy um, Cheats and Thieves, Abuse London, Money Clothing, buy what, what we wear, buy, buy, every, buy Dench, buy everyone's clothing. Buy everyone's clothing, you know why? Because if that man becomes a multi-millionaire, you don't need to go to a man that doesn't know you for a business opportunity. If I become a multi-millionaire in brands and clothing, you know how much money I'm pumping into, into our culture? You know what I'm going to set up? And I'm sure that a lot of other people have that same mentality. Of course they're going to make sure that they're sturdy first, but if they're not sturdy first, how can they help many? So invest into everybody that is buying all these designer clothes out there. Go and buy every. Go and buy into your UK brands. Make these UK. Make our gener, Make our people. Yeah. Not only the ones that are the biggest in rap. Make us the biggest in the clothing industry as well. Make us. Make us the biggest in the footwear industry as well, and the hat game. You know. And if someone comes up and designs a car, make that that guy the biggest car maker in the world. And if someone comes up and he's an architect for buildings, make him the biggest architect in the world. Make that, that, that black female, that Asian female in our generation, the biggest lawyer or the next prime minister or the next, you know what I mean? We need to start, start looking inward that I think name brand is a part of who they are. Wearing a designer thing is a part of who they are. That's how I get girls to like me because I wear Gucci. You know what I mean? Or because I wear, um, you know, LVs or, or Balmain. Yes, we've all been caught up in that. But in this day and age, I feel that a lot of the youth actually wear it like it's their skin. And they feel, and they feel if they don't have a designer on, they ain't shit. They ain't shit. Mm. If they don't have a designer on, I'm not going to that, that rave, man. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, hold on. You're telling me if you wear a Ross Clark, Benja or Lakey, um, item of clothing, you're not you're gonna feel like a nobody in a club. So if like if you wear a trap star, you wear, you know, a cheats and feast top, you're gonna feel like a nobody in the club. Fix up, blood. And know that that's coming from your own people. And that's coming from our own people. So you wearing our brands and you're standing next to LV or Gucci, you feel like a nobody, or you feel like you're not gonna get the attention as the man that's wearing Balenciagas next to you. But you want. You want, you want us, you want the generation to, to look at you as somebody, but all you're showing them is Italian people's brands. So if they want to be like a you, they have to dress like a you. They've got to wear the chains like a you. And if they can't afford that, they can't be you.